Sup guys, Heat King here, bringing you another live reaction to this week's uh, One Piece, chapter 959. So, uh, I forgot where we left off last, ch last chapter, uh, I'm trying to remember. Right, the uh, nine, the nine, the nine scarabs, uh, they were supposed to be up with Luffy and the others, right? And apparently the port was supposedly attacked, so obviously there's a traitor, Conjuru, or maybe Shinibu, or maybe Kiki, Oh. There's so many different possibilities. I'm still saying it's Conjuru though, like, but uh, yeah, um, there was a traitor, obviously, uh, someone's leaked information to Orochi, and he pretty much uh, messed up the plan, so now you've got the Red Nine Scarabs there, we don't know what happened, we don't know what happened to Luffy and the others, obviously, something's happened, so I'm, I'm hoping this uh, chapter explains. So this chapter's called Samurai, so, oof. That sounds exciting, and uh, we're continuing with the cover page stories. Uh, Gang Bages All My Family Volume 9, Entering the Country, a Battle Scarred Desrosa. So we got Capone entering, Gone at the Ready, uh, and there's, uh, I assume, Lola? Is it Lola? His wife's called Lola, and their little kid, and they're off to the side, and obviously they can see Dressrosa and how it looks like currently now. Uh, there's cracks on the floor, some obvious damage from uh, some balls missing, and obviously the the mountain where Doflamingo got slammed into and what's his name was a Peckham towering over there so yeah you can see you can kind of tell there's, there's there's damage in the distance there but obviously it's recovering so it doesn't look too bad at the moment anyway continuing on onto the first page uh, let us turn back the clock. So, we're going back to what happened two days before the final battle and we're in some ruins obviously we are now 4200 strong so that's the amount of people they had on their side, and there's Kinemon, obviously saying that on the uh, snails. Thank everyone. Thank you for your hard work so far. And then over to the other side, where I was listening, you got people cheering and celebrating. Yeah, uh, please use what time we have left for transportation and preparation. I will see you at the promised harbor. Okay. So yeah, things are things are going great. Some characters here, obviously. I think are these the scarabs now. I think these are just uh, people there that they've got in contact with, that they're in touch with. And now we're cutting to Frankie here. Oh yeah, let's get our ships ready to board. Five thousand, five thousand, huh? Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, we have uh, we have until the promised meeting time to move our ships into location at the harbor. Can I trust that to you lot? So there's Frankie and uh, his group of men, I assume, building those ships. And there's there's the ships there. I always say the. They're preparing them. We got a brother, Frano, Franosuku, Franosku, Franosku. Is that is that how his name's pronounced? Franosku. All right. Uh, Kuri Ichi Harbor. So we're cutting on to the next page. Uh, seeing a map of Ichi Harbor, heading to Braided and Bat Village, and it's Usopp now. I think having his turn to talk. Uh, then we'll go meet up with everyone in Braided Hat Village and set out on the sunny on the day off. And then now we're cutting to the minks, obviously they're celebrating, and there's some, I think there's some people mixed in there too. Uh, what, mink, what minks are they? Is that, a, is that a koala mink there? I assume that's a koala mink and a, and a black cat mink and a pig, no, a warthog mink. And a, a, a two people, no, three people, there's even a giraffe mink behind behind the cat one. Uh, okay, thanks for everything. Uh, you also are some crazy shipwrights. Back to Frankie with that little, uh, <laughs> that looks like a chef's hat up there, and Usurp, like, just giving the fist up, oh yeah, like, <laughs> going for it. Of course, let's go tear the hundred beast pirates, a new one, yeah. It's <laughs> awesome. Everyone's getting excited. Uh, village, villagers across Wano, so now I think we're seeing the villagers across Wano. There's, uh, there's Grandpa Hayo, is that how you say his name? I think that this is the prison, obviously, they all, they all got the prison uniforms. You got, you got one dude uh, putting in a cannon, another dude's got like, uh, I don't know, what, uh, spiky, spiky swords or whatever? Like, what the hell is that? Ocha and the others will bring swords over from Ringo. Prepare what armor we have at hand. I don't know whether they're new, whether they're news, whether they are usable or not, but we've got literal boatloads of weapons that were supposed to that are uh, supposed to export it just lying around. Okay, a bit like the writing's a bit off, I think here. Uh, onto the next page, page five or page four technically. Uh, some old dude there rushing to meet. I think this is still the prison, is it? Rushing, uh, rushing to meet up. Rushing to me up uh, will actually be counterproductive. Counter Huge crowds will draw attention. On the morning of the promised day, the Shogun's proce uh, procession will travel from the capital to Harbour Harbour. Harbour Harbour, what's going on there? Flower Capital, Harbour Harbour. 
Cut into a bunch of other guys. I think you can see the factory. I think it's a factory where all the smoke, where all the shit that they're making is coming from in the distance. And you've got these guys talking. Once it's set off for Ogoshima, the rest of the capital will be caught up in the Fire Festival. No one will pay us any mind, right? So obviously they're doing it during the, during the Fire Festival where everyone's going to be busy. No one's going to be thinking twice. Uh, um, everyone's eyes are going to be on the festival. And these guys are going to be able to sneak in and do what they have to do. Uh, onto some a bunch of other characters here, some big dude here. I think he might be a mink because he's got whiskers coming out of his face. But I don't know if he is. Uh, the second hour of the bird, just before evening, would be best to meet. And then now the next panel is a bunch of minks, monkey, uh, a deer. I, I assume that that's a dog there, maybe. It looks like Inarushi, but I could be wrong. There's a giraffe again. After all, some of Orochi's officers have stayed back on the mainland. And now another panel, a bunch of guys. Samurais, I assume. I think he's all samurais technically. I mean, the chapter is called Samurai, so I think all of these guys are samurai. Keep your wits about you. We can't afford to have our plan reported to Ogoshima. Roger. Uh, next panel, Curry Brown and Hat Village. So now we're back with uh, Brooke, Luffy, and Chopper, and Otama, I assume, and uh, her master. You sure we can use these? Of course. Whoa, a samurai helmet. Chopper's got a samurai helmet. Uh, I think he's going to wear it. I wish Usopp was here to see this. We're real warriors. Is this is this uh, Brooke saying this? We're real warriors now. Luffy's looking at the chests of of equipment, I assume, and he's getting bare happy. And there's someone sitting there in the distance. Uh, I don't know who that one is. Uh, what, a female character, obviously. I don't know who. So many characters. I'm losing track of who all these different characters are. Like page six. Oh, Lu! Whoa, ho! Holy shit! This panel is beast, yo. Oh my god! I'm I'm, I'm taking that. I'm taking that. Give me that panel there. Yeah, give me that panel. Like if I can make that the front cover, that that's that's fucking amazing. Uh, uh I think the female characters are, are Robin and uh, uh and, and Carrot there. They're they're wearing the Kenochi outfits, uh, you know the Kamino outfits, and now uh Chopper, Luffy, and Brooke are wearing samurai outfits. Like seriously, it looks so fucking badass. Part of the language, guys, but it looks so beast. Like Chopper just looks. Or cute and awesome at the same time wearing that armor, and Luffy and Brooke, Brooke man, like Brooke, like with his hands just crossed like that, and the sword there, like, 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 dude, man, he looks like Raimon if he, if, uh, if I imagine if he had the armor on, like, it looks awesome. Kaido, we'll cut that scandal. The job was like, I, I feel, oh, uh, is that Karen? I feel invincible. Two, we'll cut that scandal to ribbons. Broper, you and your friends look so cool, <laughs> Brooke. And uh, my, how adorable, like a trio of little beetles. Is that Robin saying that? Like a trio of little beetles. And there's Sanji. Not even wearing armor, just a Camino. Don't you wanna don't, don't you wanna wear any? And Zora's just like, nah, it'll just slow me down. I get it. You got a pretty big bounty gap to make up for, and Zora's just like, What? <laughs> Zora's like, what's going on? Uh You I get it, you got a pretty big bounty gap to make up for and then it, the next panel is did Zora, Zora just cut a cliffside? He just cut a cliffside, dude. Like, Emma, whoa, you trying to scrap my, uh, you trying, you trying to scrap my head? I'll trim your law right now. Cut it out, you idiots. And Nami just got pissed. But Zora, just to show how good he is with the sword now, he just cut a cliffside off. He cut a cliffside off. What the hell? That's some overpowered shit. Hey, I love Zoro. He's probably he's pretty he's pretty much like my favorite character in One Piece. Okay, dudes with swords. Hands are my favorite characters. I always go for the sword guy. But like, what the hell? Like, uh, honestly, this isn't unexpected. I mean, he beat the crap out of Peckins for Christ's sake. So this is this is this is this isn't new. But like, it's so bloody cool. Like, <laughs> he cut a cliffside, guys. He cut a cliffside off. <laughs> like. And now we're cutting to the rest of the gang. There's Robin, Minami, Wanda, and uh, the the Lion Musketeer thing, and Carrot. So uh, uh, Robin's talking now. Well, she said that the entrance to Ogoshima is winter, and Minami's like, so it's cold. And uh, the other Musketeer, just the entrance? What do you mean? And Carrot's responding. Well, the mainland of Wano has pretty wildly varying seasons, so we've got our fur, so we should be fine, right? And then, all right. So his name is uh, uh, Shin Shinsulia. Shinsulia. Is this the first time we're here? We're, we're, we're seeing their names. So is this just older reminding us? And the next one, he's got the uh, I assume is the Wolf Mink uh, Con Consulot. Consulot. 
I'm assuming he's an ocelot then, because like, consulot, because that's what it sounds like, and then you've got the zebra, Gino, Gio, Giovanni, Giovanni, Ishiroshi's Three Musketeers. So, Shinra Ish Ish and Oslo and, and Giovanni are pretty much talking. Rather than the season, the weather is of more concern. The promised day will be a full moon, but if it's hidden by clouds, it matters not. If it's hidden by clouds, it matters not. And then we're cutting to like Karen and Wanda just giving Nami some uh, cheek rubbings here. That's yeah, true, if all of the minks can fight the way, the way Karen did that time, that'd be a huge boost to our strength. I got a feeling this is not going to go according to plan, man. I mean, they're pretty much saying, if there's clouds, like, this shit isn't going to go as planned, so... And now Wanda's getting her turn to talk. Whether or not we will be able to undergo shoe long transformations will end up being a matter of luck. More importantly, I hope Nikogomushi and the God and the Guardians will end up arriving in time. Right, Nikogomushi and the Guardians are still missing and they still haven't arrived. What is up with these guys coming up late? What is going? You you can bet your ass they're gonna be like the uh, they're gonna be like the Rorium. Like they're gonna come in at the last second when all hope is lost and they're just gonna kick ass. Like I can just see it happening. And it, 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 in my head, it sounds amazing. Okay, like <laughs> uh, and then Chopper's just talking to Luffy. What's the matter, Luffy? I'm basically gonna say he's too heavy. I oh, know, no, Luffy's standing on the cliffside, he's looking over the water. Uh, big Mob's here, but Jibei hasn't come yet. If it weren't for him, we'd never be able to escape. Oh, shit, that's actually a good point. And we're getting some flashbacks now, Jibei. Leave, leave these last ones to me. Remember, Jibei, I'm your captain now. We'll be waiting for you in Wano. You better show up. He settled his, he settled his, issues, and, he settled his issues and joined us. Aye. And we'll welcome him. Zoro's like, yeah, we'll welcome him. I can see a little smile there from Zoro there, here and there. He's still got time. He'll come if he's still alive. He's alive. He'll be here. Uh, well, man. So that's right, Jibei. I'm about to stop in and talk. The next so yeah, guys, uh, Jibei, man. Like, um, Nika Omushi and the Guardians are not there on time, okay? They tried to get uh, Marco the Phoenix, and that didn't go as planned. Unless something's happened, and maybe Marco will join them. But Jibei also hasn't arrived yet, and Big Mom did arrive first. You'd think Jibei might, might would have gone there first, but no. Uh, this is obvious. This is obvious setup from Oda here. So you know he can't he can't disappoint us with Jibei not joining the Straw Hat crew. Okay, it's been it's been years now. Do you know what I mean since Fishman Island? He was supposed to join the group after Fishman Island, and he had to go and sort his shit out with Big Mom. And then when we finally catch up with him, he it. He sorts his shit out. He finally joins the crew, only to stay back to get to to help them escape. So you know it's it's kind of getting repetitive now, guys. Like it's it, you know they, they, he wants to say third time, third time is the charm. Like this is the third time if Jubei is gonna pay like appear, he has to join. Like no more shortcuts and shit. Once he appears in Wano, and I hope he does, I hope he's escaped and he was injured or something and he's just recovering, or maybe he's getting back up and help because he knows this is gonna be like a big massive fight. So. I'm just hoping, like, man, like, you know, it's going to be this crazy war where Nico Mushi and the Guardians and maybe Jibei have actually met up, and that's that's how it's it's going to go down. Like, these guys are all going to appear together. Like, can you just imagine for a second how that's going to appear? Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, and I'm out of juice now. Great. Uh, got a bottle of water here, but I prefer juice. I need, I need, I need, I need that citrus fruit in my. My mouth feels so dry. Anyway, let's continue with the chapter. Flower capital, outside the gates of Ibuzu town. Uh, uh, Ushimitsu calls us here. Even though no stories of robberies in the capital have come out, money. So this is Ibuzu town. This is the town where everyone smiles, right? Or what's going on? We won't be we won't be able to participate in the fire festival tomorrow. But with this, we'll at least be able to drink some water. And as people celebrating. I mean, there's people paying money in that, so I don't know what's going on. And there's that dude with the line for a crotch. That's just disturbing. Someone, some dude's dropping up to the dude. Curry Leftovers Town. Oh, is this a different town? Curry Leftovers. Okay, this is a different town. My bad. This is a different town. Uh, we burned the bandits mounted to a crisp, and yet they haven't come for revenge. They continue to steal large amounts of food from the plantations. I think you know something about that. About what is going on. Grrr. Hunted Beast Pirates Headliner Hold'em. Is that what he's called? Hold'em. This dude's in the air. It, it doesn't look like he's jumped out. He looks like he's in the air. I forgot. Did this dude have, like, gravity powers or something? I I, I mean, for Christ's sake, his name is Hold'em. So, 
Re remind me if I've forgotten yet. Uh, does he have gravity powers? Like, because that's what it feels like. Because that dude looks is is in the air, like next to this dude. Like, I don't see any hand grabbing him or whatever. Uh oh oh, I am so bloody blind. No, never mind. Uh, there's a panel here, and, it, and he is actually grabbing the guy. He's got the guy by the head, basically, and. It, it, yeah, you can't, can't, you can't, can't, you can't see the uh, the arm. You can kind of make out the fingers. So yeah, no, he's got the grab, grab of the head. My bad, guys. Seriously, like this detail in here, you need to like pay attention to your eyes. Like it's there. Odor is a dumb. It's there. You just gotta pay attention. It's hard to pay attention, man. I mean, look at it. Look how it's drawn. Like it, it, it just sort of, it's sort of in the background or something. Like, like it looks like he's wearing a helmet. He's got like black hair, but no, it's, 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 it's that dude's fingers holding that dude up. Spit it out. I, I don't know anything. So you got a bunch of guys there that he's torturing, interrogating to get the info. The rumor that the samurai are preparing for their raid. Is that the reason they're stealing all that food? If that's the case, these guys can't find out. What should we do? What are you whispering all about the, over there? So these so these guys that are getting interrogated or watching, they're pretty much on the side of the samurai. Is pretty much saying, you know, they, these guys can't find out. We got to keep our trap shot properly. And uh, now, old Tessaru, Kinemon's wife. So Kinemon's wife, old Osero, Osero is coming out. Come, I'll show you, but you have to promise you won't lay a hand on these people. Oh, oh, Tessaru, you'll show me. What do you know? Come with me, and you can see for yourself. It's a bit far though. So Tessaru is here to save the day and telling Holden to follow her. So what's her panel say? So you have enough men to need that much food. So then you're here, aren't you, Kin? Kin. The moment I saw, the moment I saw Conjuru, I had a feeling. Leave this to me. I won't come looking for you all. Bring back the country of the Kazuki. I won't come looking for you all. Bring back the country of the Kazukis. Oh, Tessaru, stop covering for us. It's okay. Our dream of eating our bellies full just once before we die has come true. What? Who said that? It's okay. Huh? Who said that? I don't think it was a Tessaru that said that because she seemed a bit confused. Like someone in the crowd said that and then Holden's like, what? The day before the final battle, so now we got these dudes. I think, what is this? It's, it's dudes flying in the air. They got fucking wings. I think these are. I think these are the beast pirates. Like they got, they got wings and they're flying. Yeah, it's here. Just do what I've told you. Uh, okay, these dudes are flying towards a mountain to a cave, and the sunny is hidden inside the cave. Okay, sure, but give the order and we'll take care of this too. Curry Beach. So these guys. I think they got, I think they got, okay, there's one, this looks like a chick with butterfly wings, and I think she's got guns or whatever on her, and then this other dude, like, he's got, like, he's got eagle and an eagle head, like, popping up from under his normal head and wings, and this other dude's just got, like, angel wings or something, uh, I don't know what's going on here, and they're flying, is this bombs they got, do they have bombs on them, they're heading to the cave, and payload delivered, what the hell? So these guys were carrying, I assume, were carrying explosives. They found a Sunny hidden in the cave and they just bombed it. Did they just destroy the Sunny? No. O o Oda wouldn't do that shit. He wouldn't. Do we, we thought Mary was gone and then she ended up appearing and saving the day and then died. Oda wouldn't pull this crap here where it's just an off screen death. Like, no, something, something positive. Something must have happened to save Sunny, but that's just. Well done. <laughs> Who's talking? Who's doing that? Next. The great bridge between uh, Kiba and Udo. Is this the bridge where Zoro was fighting? Are you sure? Thought these great bridges were important. Shut, 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 shut up. Do as you're told. So someone's blowing up the bridge now. We can reveal one. This is all. Once this is all over. Great bridge between Ringo and Hakiyama. So there's, there's multiple bridges that these guys are destroying. If we go back to the map. I assume there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm assuming there's like nine bridges and they're destroying all those bridges, I think, between the different areas. Uh, look, the great bridges that the great bridge that connect the villages. Why now? That'll prevent them uh, from uh, reaching the coast too. Next. So it's Orochi. He's pretty much marking all the places that they're bombing. Curry Weasel Harbor. All ships are now unfit to sail. Yes, yes. I hate this dude, man. I hate this dude's design. I hate this dude's character. Just I, I just hope he dies, man. Like, usually villains don't die in this, do they? I mean, how many villains have actually died in One Piece? I think Airlong's the Airlong's the only exception, right? He he got Luffy killed him, right? Like he beat him to death. I'm I'm assuming because we never heard or saw it from him again. So, except for flashbacks in Fishman Island, but I'm assuming Luffy killed him. Um, I'm trying to think any other Monit Monat the 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 harpy chick uh, Lord Lord 
Well, technically, Caesar killed her by accident, not knowing it was her heart, but uh, yeah, she's dead. I'm just wondering, like, if any main main adversaries of the Straw Hats have ever fought have actually died, like... Uh, I've, okay, so we're coming to... We're pretty much at Orochi's headquarters now. I've yet to confirm the existence of the samurai myself. Travel to the present day from 20 years ago, from that burning castle. If you can't show me their heads, nah. Even if you did, I'd have a hard time believing that tall tale. Great bridge between Kuri and Udo, that's destroyed. I've had a hard enough time convincing these bloody retainers of the truth. And that idiot Yotsu went and made it worse. It was just a prank. Now, it, now, now it's all being treated like some big joke. But my intel is true. Mock my commands as non-sensual blah blah. I care not. I have the power to force you to carry them out. So he's just crossing off all the parts where they've done damage. The cave, the bridges, the harbour. So he's just crossing them all off one by one. If I block all routes to Tokagi Harbour... Where will you poor fools go? So, the bridge to Ringon, Hikomu gone. The bridge to Hikomu and Udo gone. Kiba to Udo gone. Kuria to Udo gone. So he's pretty much uh, destroying all the places that lead to Kiba and the flower capital. Uh, there's still the bridge to Ringo to the flower capital and Kiba to the flower capital left. So I imagine he's going to destroy those as well, maybe. Um, though, though there's still a path. There's a bridge to Udo to the flower capital, like... 4,000, not bad. Too bad not a single one of them will reach the destination. You red scar scarab bar ghosts, taste the bitter despair of desertion. Uh, none will join you. I refuse to grant you even the slightest chance at revenge. Present day, Udo Tokagi Harbour. So, now we're cutting back to the present. So, who's this? Stop it. And there, there you got the red scarabs just trying to get their shit done. Stop it. This is suicide. We must regroup and wait for another chance. And Kinemon says, if we let this one slip, our next chance will be one year from now. And our roost cannot last that long. Our capture of Yudo will soon be found out. Kaido's armies will ride out in force to crush us rebels. And there's Momonosuke just crying. And we can't go on stealing food to survive. You might have heard tell before, you might have heard tell before leaving Kuri. The people of Leftovers Town believing in our final battle revealed the crimes and had their town raised for it. And there's Shinobu also listening to this. Who's shouting at Oh, it's Kinemon. The town in which my wife lives. Please ignore us, Lord Momonosuke. Ordering us to run from this place would be commanding us to live in shame. But what, what, what will happen to me? And there's uh, Kaizo, Ko, 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 Kaizo, Raizo, Raizo. We would, we would like for you to live on with Lady H H H Hayori and Kawamatsu. Enough of your selfish words. My, Kinemon, my father too was alone in the beginning. Who's, no, who's saying this? And there's uh, Ashura. If it weren't for Lord Oda... And there's Kiki, Rumbo wearing armor, and there's Kanjuri. None of us would have ever become samurai. We'd have remained half-baked amateurs, and Inunarushi there. And Shibuna is trying to stop uh, uh, Momonosuke from joining them, I think. For for that reason, we will remain Lord all the samurai. Lord o until the very end. Ah, uh, these guys look badass, man. Like, god damn, they look badass. Listen up, man. This country has remained closed off for hundreds of years. Oh, this is older talking now. It's a flashback. And the Kazuki have had more than a hand in it, hand, hand in, in it. But one day, the time will come. The tides of the world will begin to shift. Before that day comes, open Warno's borders and 39 years ago, Flower Capital. I think we're getting a flashback to, to maybe how a takeover happened, I think. That, that would be pretty cool to see. But yeah, the Flower Capital, man, looks it looks nice. I mean, it looks the same, but I don't know. What do I know, right? And that, is that... What's this? Oh no, the chapter's still going, Jesus. So now there's a bunch of people uh, crying, Oi, hide your kids and your wives. Close your shops. The capital was home to the most well-known man of the age. Hell, hide your livestock. Cory, he's coming. So you've got people hiding their pigs, their kids. Open, Oda Kazuki has returned. So I think we're finally going to see Oda Kazuki. He's got two swords there. What's that? It's like a big bat. So where where was I? I don't even know where, where it cut off. Like, but uh, basically, the last page is actually... Lord Oda Kazuki, so he's appearing and everyone's like, Oi, hide your kids and your wives, hell, hide all your livestock, hurry, he's coming. The capital was home to the most well-known man of the age. And yeah, we're seeing from his back, he's got the two swords there, and he's got one of those band things, I think, that Arizal wears. He's got a little straw, like, hat there, but like, he doesn't look like he's wearing any, it doesn't look like he's wearing a shirt or pants. Like, so, yeah. And everyone's just running away from him. This man is something else. 
has oh lord kozuki has returned he's filled yet another voyage aboard die already you good for nothing with your with your narrow minds with your narrow minds oh you're crushing me to death here so i wonder who he is and you got this dude coming out with a gun there being pissed and a bunch of other guys samurais there he was a lord right so what's going on here i thought he's like the everyone would respect him but no that's not the case anyway that's the last part of the chapter and uh yeah the Decent chapter, I mean, uh, it, it's just more or less more of the same crap, like we knew this was going to happen, if that makes sense, like we knew we had to go back to flashback to see what was going on, so now a bunch of shit has happened, you know, the, the bridges have been destroyed, the harbour's been destroyed, the sun is being destroyed, supposedly, sunny, it's turned into a submarine and they're going to sneak under, like, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe that'll be, maybe that'll be a plan, um, and now we're getting a flashback to the flower capital 39 years ago with Lord Kozuki apparently. So that's going to be interesting to see. Maybe we're going to see the formation of the Red Scarabs, how it first happened, and then how he probably got defeated. So maybe that's going to be an entire volume story for Act 3. And then uh, when that arc, maybe when that's over, I, I don't know, it depends. I mean, uh, it's been a while since we've seen Oda do flashback storylines, you know what I mean? Like, the last, the, I can't think of the, I'm trying to think, what was the longest one he ever did? I, I think it was Corazon with Law when we saw his backstory and uh, maybe the one with um, uh, Noland and, and the, the uh, tribe people in, in Skypea like that was an entire like volume mark wasn't it so it'll be interesting if we get something like that here like with, 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 with this with this arc here like we just get an entire backstory about Older and then we get his character development how he how he lived and how he died like leading all to that that would be kind of cool but yeah uh, would I say decent chapter no I, I kind of prefer the previous chapters uh, this one's just sort of like, again, it's just sort of set up again, isn't it? Like, what's happened, what it learned, setting shit up for the future. But, um, yeah. I, I wish uh, I wish this arc would go a bit fa it Actually, it was going a bit faster. Now it's sort of slowing down now again. And then it's, it's obviously going to pick up speed again later on. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I just can't wait to finally get into the fights, do you know what I mean? Like, to get to Ogoshima and just just get into those fights. Because that's, that's the meal, but that's what we're waiting for. And Oda's just... He's just slowly building us up, like, building, 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 building. I'm just curious who the trailer is. Like, like my money my money is on Kanjuru, but it could very well be uh, Shinobu, maybe. But then she was protect she was keeping Momonosuke back, so I don't know. Like, and I mean, or maybe it could be Kiki, I don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see. All right, guys, hope you like my reaction to that. As always, like and subscribe, wherever. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care. Bye.